Hello everyone, Jackie Tomlin here. Happy Thursday to you, one day away from the weekend. Uh, today we're going to get into a collective reading. Before we get started, uh, let me say that there are people out there that are impersonating me as well as other uh, readers out here by using our pictures and using uh, a name that is similar to ours, okay? The only way that you can trust that you are speaking to me or getting a reading from me is to go through my website at JackieTomlin.com. Um, and I say this, um, I know a couple of you have been scammed here in the last week. And I found out this morning that one of you has thought you've been getting readings from me from the last year and it's not me at all. So, pretty angry about it, pretty angry about it, but there's not a thing I can do about it. The only thing you've got to do is you have got to trust me when I say readings go through my website. I have an actual company that sends you the receipt. Um, everything's on my website. The actual links to my social media are on my website. Okay, because these guys are being scammed. And the scam that was run on this lady was someone, they're stealing my video, but they're not using the video. They're using the audio. Okay, so they're picturing a still frame picture of cards and a candle burning with my audio playing and contacting that person through an email to buy a reading. And she had not done a voice reading. She'd been doing emails or chats or whatever. And yesterday, she called for a reading and knew immediately the voice did not match me. Sad but true, this is the era that we live in. Um, I have trolls over there trolling my Facebook when people comment all the time. These people don't even have a following. And bottom line is people are getting desperate. Getting desperate. You know, I've been around for 18 years. I have no reason to solicit you for a reading. <sighs> Got that bent off my chest. I guess one thing I am guilty of. I am guilty of not listening to my own readings, right? I mean, I think this week alone it said detox your friendships. And um, don't tell everybody everything because they will steal your ideas. And yep, that's happened too. So what can I say? Lesson well learned. Learn to listen to myself, right? Hey, Alana, how are you? Just saying. All right, let's get into some messages here. Now, tomorrow, don't forget to be here. We will be doing your weekend read. What's up for the weekend? All right now, let's see what's going on. Hello there. How are you? Who is that far? As far as what I see. Yep. Okay. And if you run across a reading that you know the voice and you don't see them, notify that reader. I've done that twice. Notify them. Nay, thank you. Thank you so much. You're greatly appreciated. Wish fulfillment, y'all. You've got wish fulfillment coming in to you. Major time moments. We don't want them. We do not want them. You know what? She brought up a good point because I just pulled the card of chaos. You know what we're going to do? We're going to smudge this away right here now. I'm just saying. I'm going to smudge y'all too. Um, I'm right there with you. I've had a couple towers. <laughs> Ain't going to lie. Ain't going to lie. This morning was one of them. Hey, dancing queen. How are you? Look at here. Jackie going to smudge all y'all. I'm just saying. Mercury Retro, The Unexpected. You got to love The Unexpected. You know, like the unexpected knife in your back? Just saying. Woo! See, don't ever say you ain't been smudged by Jackie. Just saying. All right. What else we got going with this chaos? We've got... <laughs> A deceitful person that is causing the chaos. Deceitful person causing the chaos. Alrighty. You could be dealing with an air sign. Doesn't have to be, but it could be an air sign. Um, you are about to get some kind of glow up in your work or career. Some kind of pat on the back, a little raise, a little promotion, perhaps a little bonus check. 
Uh, but something coming in on that front, okay? And recognize and know your self-worth. Hold your head high, it says. Don't let them beat you up. And we have, again, with the wish fulfillment, this is more than one wish being granted. I'm seeing the number nine three times so far. Nine is the completion of a cycle, okay? When things are completed, what happens? It's a brand new beginning, powerful new beginning. So y'all getting ready to kick a door shut. It's going to open another one. Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. And doing something for yourself. I'm thinking some retail therapy. That's what I'm seeing here. God, what is her name? Thank you, my dear. Thank you for the heart. Is it? I don't even take. How, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Nanya. Okay, Nanya. Thank you, my dear. You are appreciated. Thank you so much. Guys, if you're coming into a collective reading with a general question, by all means, let's put it out there to spirit because in a weird kind of way, it tends to answer it for you. Okay? Let's get on some more general messages here. Retail therapy, spa day. Doing something nice for you. She bought chips. What kind of chips did you buy? I want some chips. I'm about to take my granddaughter out to the Dollar Tree. Her, 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 Dollar Tree and Five Below are her favorite spots. So I've been putting it off all week and I told her we go today. Now Jackie is a little bit sore today from some yard work. Maybe I possibly overdid it just a little bit. Imagine that. Okay, so y'all going to get a bonus here with some love angels, romance angels, because they appear to be in my regular angels. <laughs> so I'm taking this as a sign. There's some messages here you need to hear. We usually don't do romance angels till Friday, so bonus time. Romance angel says, you deserve love and you are lovable. Hello, Patricia. We need to chat. Engagement, your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. And we have, let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. And honeymoon, enjoy the holiday bliss time together. I don't think it's holiday or anything like that. I think some of you, engagement, not like ring on the finger. We're talking like date night. Perhaps someone you meet through a friend, a friend of a friend of a friend. And, you know, like a day trip, get together, get away, lay at river, lake, ocean, something to do with water. So there, there's that. All right, let's get some angel messages here. Angel messages. Focus is always what we need to know. This time I just need to pay attention. Ah, might be psychic. Raise and or promotion. Telling you, you're in for a glow up. Moonlighting. Some of y'all got a side hustle. Looking for a side hustle or starting a side hustle. Side hustle is going to be good. Power of prayer. Look, folks. I cannot say enough. The power of prayer. It is that. It is powerful. It is most powerful. And by all means, put it out there. You know, what they say? Asking you shall receive. Release jealousy. Partnership. Work on your partnership. Clean energy food. Start eating a little cleaner. Quiet retreat. Take some time to yourself. And the windfall of abundance. That abundance is about to be bestowed to you. And it says cooperation instead of competition. Good messages, folks. Good messages, good energy. But you know, we started that reading with a little chaos and a little deceit. So that has not come to pass as of yet. So, let's get into this. Let's see what we need to know. Nanya, thank you so much, dear. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You are greatly appreciated. All right. Good morning. 
Alligator, like your name. All right, what do we have going on here? It is a beautiful day. It is absolutely a beautiful day. It's a beautiful day for Jackie to rest. I've done too much work, yard work and I'm sore. So none of that today. Y'all keep me busy with my readings. Looking for this afternoon and tomorrow. Y'all keep me busy. We're going to start with strength. Strength on your sign. Oh, Tracy. Happy birthday, my dear. Happy birthday. Um, strengthen your side no matter what you do. Now, this isn't strength because you need strength. But this is strength like it's crazy busy, a lot of energy swirling around you. That kind of strength. Okay? It's got you covered. Six of Cups tells me you're getting ready to reunite with someone from your past. Um, now, before you sit there and you're ready to scream, I don't want to reunite with this person. Yes, you do. It's not necessarily in your love life. Okay? This is someone you've lost touch with. It's a good reconnection here. Five of Cups. Stop overthinking things. Oh, my heavens. You are way overthinking things. Okay. Now, there's another message that has come through here that needs to be said. If you have a friend that has come out the closet as being gay or whatever, let's not pass judgment on that friend. Because they trusted you enough to confide in them. And that message is going to be for someone specific. Because it has come out plainly. Ten of Wands. Ten of Wands says you are overcoming your obstacles. The worst is over. You have really, well, you know what they say, you came, you saw, and you kicked some butt, right? That's what I'm saying. You have gathered your obstacles, pushed them to the side. And they are now becoming a thing of the past. Three of Wands, you are still digging. You're still digging. There's a bit of a patience problem here, but dig deep within. You're ready for everything to happen now. You want your ship to come in. You want it all. You want it right now. Calm down. Calm down. In good timing. Remember, we have left divine timing, and we have moved up to perfect timing. So it's on the way. Just calm down and bide your time. And we have the Page of Swords. Some of you have um, a secret admirer. Someone's following you online, trolling your page or whatever they're doing. Going back to that earthbound energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. All right, dear. And we have the Ace of Pentacles talking about a new beginning. The new beginning is in money. In money. New beginning in finances. The moon, well, yeah, we've got that moon energy going on, scattered energy, Mercury retro, the unexpected, expect the unexpected and expect people from the past and expect, expect situations from the past. And the hangman energy, and the hangman energy is talking about, this is spirit has slowed you down for a reason. Work behind the scenes or possibly getting ready to provide the answers that you're seeking. Okay. Uh, let me give you a bonus card here before we start clarifying the Two of Pentacles. Yes, definitely a new beginning in money. You're juggling financially. If you're borrowing from Peter to pay Paul, it's telling that those days are almost over. Now, let me say this, too. Uh, if you didn't check out the podcast yesterday, be sure to do so. Visit my homepage at JackieTomlin.com. The podcast is uploaded on there, and that's messages from Aries through Pisces with a quick collective at the end. I'm trying to get my pillow straight. Y'all wonder what I'm doing here. Fidgeting all around. All righty. Let's clarify. Let's see what you, you need strength for. What is the strength here for? What is strength all about today? What is strength all about? Well, here's one more thing. You're very guarded and you're very defensive. You're like ready to scratch someone's eyes out and the, and the time frame is now. And we have the Knight of Wands. There's movement on the home front. Some are moving in. Some are moving out. Some type of movement going on. Some type of movement. All right. With that, you have the Six of Cups. The Six of Cups comes with the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles that says... 
you know, there's going to be a good business deal presented. This is seeking you out. This is nothing you're seeking out. This is coming to you. Capricorn energy. And you've got the full card, which I love this for you. This means you're happy, you're lucky, carefree, skipping along. But you're getting ready to jump into something with two feet. So let's see what you're getting ready to jump into. What are we jumping into? We are jumping into, oh, two of cups. Romance. Hello, Miss Angie. How are you? And the two of cups is a date night. Get together. Joining of two people. And then we have that five of cups where I'm telling you don't overthink things. See, strength comes with that. You're too busy to sit around dwelling on something. And you have the Knight of Wands. You could be dealing with an Aries. Uh, but this is you taking your stand. This is you taking authority. This is you being true to yourself. This is you saying, hey, I've done A, B, and C, and now we're going to do it my way. Okay? We've done things your way. Now we're going to do things my way. And this... Mm. Someone lying to you. Someone lying directly to you. I've had this moment. This moment. This was my tower moment of someone lying to me. And calling them out on it. So there is still someone that lies to see someone being shady. Is still there in your immediate circle. You know, and it's one thing about when you're dealing with somebody that lies. It's lies upon lies upon lies. And then their lies are just, what they say, walk around like they got diabetes or something. It gets to be out of hand. It gets to be out of hand. And then you'll notice they start forgetting the lies that they've already told. That now their whole story doesn't make sense. <laughs> All righty. Three of Cups comes in. There's going to be a celebration, an outing, a get-together, dinner out, something you're not expecting. They are. I just see your message. I see your message here. Um, three and more people get together. And the Knight of Swords. The Knight of Swords says something's rushing in. Guess what's rushing in? Oh, my goodness. Yes. The Chariot is my favorite card in the deck, and it's particularly my favorite during Mercury Retro. This is your yes answer. This says you get what you want and what you desire, and it comes when you least expect it. Going back to, we have spoke all week about this person wearing red. This person wearing red is still going to be significant. It's still there. Also, those that are visiting a large city. There's some type of caution there. I don't know if it's a car accident, bender, bender, whatever, but there's some caution when visiting a large city. All righty. But yes, your yes answer, that chariot trumps your entire reading. Love it. And of course, it says you feel bajiggity. You're like a cat on a hot tin reef. You're anxious, you're excited, you're overwhelmed. Oh, I will. I will, dear. And, you know, under Mercury Retro, that's normal energy. This is actually what they call the calm before the storm. This means get ready. Um, things are getting ready to open up. You're getting ready to head off into a fast pace. And with that, we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, so there's a power couple here. I'll throw that out there to you. Queen of Wands says you're taking care of you. And I like this energy for you. Okay, this is putting you first. This is doing you. This is, uh, like I said, maybe you're doing some retail therapy or something, but you're treating yourself. And back to the beginning of your reading where it says that you're finally recognizing your self-worth. This is part of it. This is part of it. Some of y'all doing some summertime shopping. Nothing wrong with that. All right, Lashi, how are you? Now, on this page of swords, remember I said you money's coming? There it is, Ten of Pentacles. 
this is your highest financial card in the, in the deck and it's, overall it's your abundance and remember we saw the windfall of abundance this morning we haven't seen that one in quite some time Lushy thank you so much my dear you are greatly appreciated thank you and if y'all see smoke rolling around here it's because I smudged y'all <laughs> so you do and we have the king of cups someone coming in with this major offer of love someone wants a commitment with you someone sees you as the forever the happily ever after Lishi, thank you so much dear thank you i appreciate it um could be dealing with the cancer doesn't have to be really feel that some of you if you're in a relationship your person is stepping up they're stepping up now look at this here. Now I can't make this up. We got the hangman over top of the hangman. What does this mean to you? Like I said, you may feel stuck, stagnant, that you're banging your head against the wall and things just aren't moving. Well, they're moving. They're moving according to the way spirit wants them to move. This is spirit slowing you down. This is spirit taking care of things behind the scene and answering those questions for you. Now remember, when we talked about, you also saw the power of prayer and all you had to do was ask. So important messages going on there. We have the Page of Cups. Unexpected offer of love. This person could be a little bit younger and perhaps a Pisces, but does not necessarily have to be. Mm -mm -mm. Look how your, your reading is just repeating itself. Ace of Pentacles on the Ace of Pentacles. On point today, are we? New beginning is in your financial sector, and there it is. There it is, folks. Devil card energy is twofold here. Yes, Miss Angie, a Pisces. Twofold here. One, if you're single, I want you to be warned of a one night stand. Nothing wrong with it if you want, if that's what you want. But don't feed more into it than that. Okay? So be warned of that. And two, you need to be warned about this can also represent that deceitful person is still in your energy. Okay? Now, on this crazy moon that we're dealing with, we have the Eight of Cups. Time to walk away, turn your back, walk away from a person or a situation. It's time to close the door. You're done. You've outgrown it. You've outgrown the person. You've outgrown the situation. And one of the planet, planets, I don't know the planets that well, the one with the ring around it, is that Saturn? Yes, it is Saturn. Okay. So, for whatever reason, I'm seeing Saturn, and I forgot what sign Saturn controls. But it's here, so that may have to do with who you're walking away from. Yes. And we have... Remember that person with this major offer love? There it is. The happily ever after. They, they see you as the end all be all. You are everything. They see the happily ever after with you. They may initiate a trip. A quick getaway. An overnight stay. An attempt at romance. <laughs> and notice I said an attempt. Okay. Alrighty. Nine of Cups comes in. Nine of Cups talks about wish fulfillment. This third time you've gotten wish fulfillment in this reading. Also, someone has purple hair or a purple streak in their hair that you'll be coming across here in the next few days. Just a little indication to know, let you know you're on the right path. Saturn is a ruler over Capricorn. Thank you, Far. Thank you. So it may be a Capricorn energy that you're walking away from. And the hangman. The hangman. I'm not an astrologist, y'all. 
When you contact me for a reading, I don't even use cards. I'm just a clairvoyant. But I do the readings by the zodiac signs as a group. Mm -mm -mm. You know this lying, deceitful person? Here it is. Three's a crowd. Someone has either placed you in a third-party situation or someone is trying to put you in a third-party situation. Um, I'm going to be real honest with you. I'm not going to rule out that the third party is not going to contact you. Take it for what it's worth. Take it for what it's worth. And I say this for perhaps... This is an old flame that just can't keep their name out your out of your, their mouth, you know? But that third party may be contacting you. Two of Pentacles, again, you're juggling financially. It's going to be temporary. And there it is. You've got a spiritual blessing coming in and a financial blessing. Spiritual and financial blessing. Now, on the first two of Pentacles, I love the way your reading repeated itself today. What comes with this? Eight of Wands. Eight of Wands. Happiness, contentment, love arrows flying around. And then we have the Wheel of Fortune. Good luck and abundance. Good luck and abundance. Um, well, wheel is finally turning into your favor, right? Um, this could be the card of partnership, whether love or whether it's business. And for a lot of you, it's both. I mean, why not? Why not? The letter R is present as well as the letter T. Fourth time, wish fulfillment. This one, however, shows a little bit of delay. A little bit of a delay. So you've got some wishes being fulfilled right now and some coming in with wish fulfillment. I'm going to give you three more here before we move on to something else here. You have the Four of Pentacles. This is where I messed up and did not listen by keeping some things to yourself. Thoughts, ideas, and opinions. Keep them to yourself. If not, someone is willing to steal those ideas from you. Two of Swords. You've got decisions to make that you've been putting off for a long time. Those Swords also tells me you're getting ready to take action on those decisions. And we have, look at there, the Ten of Swords. You're surrounded by healing energy. Notice the knife in the back. You're surrounded by the healing energy. You, um, This is recovering from someone who's done you wrong. I'm seeing delusional, that you're dealing with somebody delusional. Ugh, chalk that up to a loss, right? Ready and waiting. All righty. Let's see what other random messages I can get here today. Ready and waiting is a good thing, right? Guys, don't forget, if you're seeking a personal reading, go through my website. It is JackieTomlin.com and you'll find a menu of options over there. The same way with the direct links to my social media. Just, they would resonate with you and someone you know. The letters R or the letters T. Okay, someone's getting ready to question you. And news of a marriage. Some of you may be getting ready to go to a wedding. Reconnecting with the arts. Uh, this to me gives you like that... Zen moment that you need. Our writing, I will be on the green team here in about 30 minutes. And we have some of your some of your talent lies in writing and creative writing. Photography, I like it. 
one of these people that approach you with this love offer is going to be unrequited. You're they're, you're just not into that person. <laughs> also, I do see you reconnecting spiritually. All righty. Increase in money. This has been in here since the beginning of the reading, and you may be dealing with a mother figure. Patience, patience, patience. I know you're waiting on your ship to come in, and let me tell you, it's in sight. Remember what I said this week. We're out of divine timing. We're in perfect timing. So just a little bit longer. Lessons and blessings. Count them both. And you could be dealing with an authority figure. And uh, you could also be dealing something with um, holistic medicine, homopathy stuff. All right. Let's see what Kipper has for you today. Y'all, we are right here on the weekend. Yay, right? He's not working this weekend. Still a weekend, right? All right. You're getting ready to take a quick trip. Short journey is what I'm seeing. There is a main male that's coming in to speak to you. This person, I think, has brown hair. And he has facial hair as well. Um... Again, let's not get stuck in your thoughts because you just take your energy way, way, way down and depress yourself. Work is work. Nothing extravagant there. Something, some message of concern, just enough to interrupt your day. Something you got to stop and take care of. Jealousy surrounds you. Jealousy surrounds you. Someone sees you as you having everything that they want. Jealousy surrounds you. Okay. And something to do with the filing of paperwork at a courthouse. Yep. You're making those travel plans. Unexpected company. I really want to stress this. So you get ready for this. Like I can see them in your living room. Get ready. Unexpected company. Someone is going to express concern for you when, in my opinion, I think they're just being nosy from what I can tell. They're just nosing around. Sticking their nose where it don't belong. Still got that death card energy going on. Um, endings and closures and rebirths and new beginnings. And expect changes, major changes, or change in residence, change in vehicles, some kind of glow up at work. Y'all need to think big and think big outside the box. I don't either. I don't like them either. <laughs> I don't. I'm not really fond of that unexpected company. Is it mine? Do you have a lot of green in it? Green or teal? And we have unexpected income. I have one thing has certainly been in your reading. You could be dealing with someone in the military or someone with a military background. One thing that has definitely been in this reading today um, is the abundance. The abundance of the minds, the windfall of money. The new money. Um, the money in addition to the moonlighting money. The money has been good in this reading today. Really, really good. All right, let's leave, close you out with a couple of affirmations for today. Not your room, she says. Not your room. All right, what do we have going on here? Affirmations, messages for today. First one says, everything I touch turns to gold. What's that? The Midas touch, right? And we have, it says, I live in the present and I am confident of my future. I like it. I will focus on the things that I want to achieve today. Now, this was also in the beginning of your reading was, I don't chase, I attract. What belongs to me will simply find me. And that the no truer words have ever been spoken. 
Gang, it's going to be a beautiful day. I thank you again for joining me. I will be back here tomorrow with your weekend read. I hope you have a super fantastic day. Don't forget, if you missed that podcast yesterday, go check it out. It's on the homepage of my website. You guys, Nanya, thank you so much. I appreciate all of you. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, your messages, your readings, everything y'all do for me, your comments. You are greatly, greatly appreciated. I want you to know that. You guys have a super fantastic afternoon, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.